Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. Mike, one of the senior developers at 11th Hour Games, held his normal Friday Q&A live stream on Twitch, which means I get to bring you Dev Chat 36 and as always I have lots of goodies coming for 084. Now I say it at the beginning of all my videos and it is the holiday time. It's the time of giving and generosity. I'm hoping today is the day. I have earned your subscription and you make the decision to push that little red button. Truly, truly shows that you support me and pushing the channel forward. Again, only if I deserve it. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go. And we're going to start with our first leak right now. A little bit of art for you to enjoy. What was I saying? And no, Judd was not carrying me on his primal list. <laughs> Here we go. This is a uh, one of our support, one of our new supporter uniques coming next patch. Um, this is just the art for it, but I think the art's really cool. So uh, I'll just, I'm just going to stick this up here, and you guys can look at that instead of the bottom right corner of my screen. <laughs> Do that. Ooh, a vital shadow plate of the fox. Some uh, inherent void damage on that. Art looks pretty good. Leak number two, and again, some art for you to enjoy. This is a skill revealed yesterday, I think. New skill, Umbral Blades for the rogue which is uh it's gonna be a really cool new skill it looks cool um and it didn't have the right icon art in the um in the unveil on the tooltip so we have the icon art's not 100% finished, but here's one of the one of the ones that's work in progress version, but it's so close that I think it'll be basically what it is. Um, I think we should probably update the... Here it comes. Update that post as well with it. But it's, this is also a um, combo ability, so there's like three different icons. This is just the initial one, I think. So yeah. That's what the Umbral Blades icon will s look like or be very, very close to. Get over here. I like it. This next question I thought was really interesting. I don't think I've ever heard it asked before. Listen to this. He plans to reveal full gear and skill tree characters on leaderboards, maybe. Leaderboards are being redesigned. Interesting. A lot of people don't I want to do show the gear and um, skills and stats and everything that they had when they were um, when they, they completed the content. So it, it might be an opt out system, it might be an opt in system, it might just be a no system, it might be a just yes system. I don't know. Um, but we are we are aware that a lot of people don't like to share it. And then you get systems, you get games where people. It'll, it'll just show the most recent thing that you logged out as, and people will suddenly start like having their logout gear. <laughs> it's this, this burden of optimal play where you end up having to equip different gear to log out, and then you like you figure out how frequently it parses, and you, every time you complete content, you then have to go put your logout gear on, log out, log back in, and then this puts additional artificial strain on the servers because people are um, having to use the system to do something it's not supposed to do, and it's it's just such a mess. So um, we, we, we do want to get that right and uh, make it so it's a system that works for as many people as possible. Interesting idea. On the ladder, being able to see the build and the skill trees. It would be a whole nother avenue for build guides. Leak number three and kind of leak number four. Yes, it's more art. Don't worry. I got a couple juicy things for you at the end. There we go. 
crafting material art. He's going to put one more up. Rune of Refinement 2? Okay, I'll get that the up. Rune of Refinement. Obviously on the screen right now is Glitz. It's coming. Just take it in. There we go. There it is. Every update. Yeah, visuals so look so much it's better. It's very similar, just, you know, refined. Refined. Leak number five. More art. Don't get bored yet. Look at that refinement. Uh, why are there no ability to assign action like drinking potions to your mouse buttons? Oh, is there not? There isn't. I cannot do that. There should be if there's not. I think I suspect there is. Okay, enough art. We are getting close to done on this dev chat video, but don't worry, I still have two new unique items to show you. Mike, show us number one. Eh, no one wants to see me do this monolith anyways. Remember the art from earlier? Woozle. Uh, here is... Prismatic Gaze. I could not do that. Uh, new unique item coming next patch. <sighs> This is one of our support uniques. I, I think the supporter's name is in the top right corner. Yeah. I hope they're here. If you're here, make yourself known. He's not, here. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, we can kind of see it. Prismic Gaze. Create a prism shard when you use an elemental skill. Five max prism shards. Prison shards orbit you for up to 10 seconds and then expire. If released, they target the nearest enemy and explode, dealing elemental damage and shredding elemental resistance. Resists, uh, release all prisms when you use a skill that costs at least 40 mana. Oh, interesting. Range 224 on critical strike chance, 40% increased critical strike chance. 7% less elemental damage taken, and that is a range anywhere from 5 to 10. That right there is a pretty cool unique, and it is at level 60. But we're not done. I said two uniques, and this is going to be a little bit of a bonus, because I just saw this on my Twitter. Not in this stream, but I'm going to bring it in anyways, and it is this. Heavy's new supporter unique item. Look at this item. Death's Embrace. Required level 75. Plus 113 melee physical damage. Plus anywhere from 13 to 29 necrotic penetration. You can get this at plus 29 necrotic penetration on the implicit. And then on top of that, you can get 29% minion necrotic penetration if you were going to have minions. Okay, then you look at the other affixes, plus 52 to melee necrotic, that is a range of 40 to 60, plus 75 melee critical strike multiplier, that's 50 to 90. Uh, 60 to 78 percent less bonus damage taken from critical strikes. Gain a stack of Harrowing Claim when you use Harvest and hit at least one enemy. Harrowing Claim lasts 1.5 seconds. Stacks are refreshed when gained max two stacks. Using Harvest while at two stacks of Harrowing Claim instead consumes them to perform a Grim Harvest granting 200% more melee damage and 100% increased area of effect, but consumes mana and health. 12 to 24, 
mana consumed by Grim Harvest, 22% of current health consumed by Grim Harvest. This item for a Lich is amazing. Heavy, my friend, you did a really good job. Really good job. In 11th hour games, the art on this item, I love it. It might be my favorite item I have seen so far. Four uniques coming for 084. So that's it. You got to see some new art. You got to see two new uniques. And that is Dev Chat 36. Mike, as always, thank you for continuing to do your Friday live streams. The community truly appreciates it. And I want to know your opinion out there in the comment section. What was your favorite thing about Dev Chat 36? I'm sure you've heard by now that I have officially started a Twitch playing lots of Last Epoch in preparation for 084. I stream on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, having so much fun with the ARPG community. First link in the description if you'd like to go there and support. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over 1,200 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Erin, out.